block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. better yeah. off work to the good, I'm bad, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. took a ride in the L, L, come on, man, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. took a hold down. Well, the kind of question I want to ask about, I want, I want to get your perception <coughs> of what do you think about J. Pence Jr. and his father are running the loaded dice game that got Duke, uh, Duke the Jiller kill and take off kill. <coughs> what I think about that, man, Cause I know you've been hearing about it. Oh yeah, I've been, you know, keep my eyes to the motherfucking street, seeing what's going on. Man, that's, that shit was all crazy, man. Only thing I kind of say is, uh, they should have, they should have had their security shit together a little bit more better than that. You know what I'm talking about? Don't have that boy in some weird situations like that. You know what I'm right. talking about? Y'all gotta protect the bag at all times. They go for his team too. You know right. what I'm saying? Gotta protect the bag, man. Y'all know. Man, come on, take off, come on, man. Yeah, I know, man, that's a sad situation, man. So what's your thoughts do you feel that, like, Jay Prince or Jay Prince Jr. will even do anything like that? Or you, or you just think it's just internet talk? I think that's just internet talk, because right. I don't think, I don't think, like, both situations, I don't think they had nothing to do with that. It's just the, the people in the surrounding, you know, from being in the streets and the trenches, I done been around stuff like that on the regular, so I right. know how it go. They just, like... The niggas was in a the niggas was in a bad situation. Bad yeah. situation. Yeah. Check this out. I want you to check out what WAC 100 said, man. This is very funny to me. Now, check according to WAC 100, Low Camp Fifth and another man accidentally passed the loaded dice yeah. to Duke the Jeweler. So because they passed the loaded dice to yeah, Duke the Jeweler, Duke the Jeweler was able to win all night and made up with, with a lot of money. And because they understand the mistake they made, they wanted their money back. Which led to them coming back and killing Duke the Jeweler to get their money back. All That's right. That's entertainers, when you go to Houston, stay away from J. Prince Jr. A whole play going on. Here go the play right here. The play is a loaded dice. Now I'm going to talk about something. Let me see if y'all catch up with them. Y'all catch up with them. Too. Yeah, I always got something. Crazy to say. Mm -hmm. well, to all, me. Act oh, like yeah. you cover for him, hanging out, everything is cool. Let's go here, let's go there, let's go here, let's go there. He introduces so. the dice game. <coughs> he got three mother <coughs> right, who rotate the dice. Now these dice is loaded. The, tell me, it's a wolf. Big Caprice, and watch this, and Little Cam are the loaded he dice know all three. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right? I mean, he said what? He like, like the there was a situation that occurred. Oh, that a certain jeweler than the window. round you know, and got past the dice on right, Mac Mac she was on, uh, and was hitting all them for a couple hundred. They got irritated about that. I ain't gonna go too far into that story because. So, I remember the lady from Two Two Seven, and that's where she also play and she also played in uh, Master P on Bottom when she said, "Nigga, so where you get that weed from?" Nigga, Square Bidding, Columbia motherfucker. You Square Bidding, man. Oh, Square Bidding. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, uh, what was that? Don't drink the juice while in the hood. Somewhere mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. Nigga say, nigga say, come on, grandma, mama. Nigga say, nigga, you push shit out of her. <laughs> He said, nigga, he's still here like a bitch. Nah, I'm square bitch. That's but shit. He say that the loaded dice, Man. they accidentally passed it to Duke the Jewel. So Duke was hitting all night. And they wanted their money back. And that's how he ended up. Man, <coughs> first thing I got to say is, I've been watching Wack a long time. Yeah. And... He don't never had no receipts to the shit he be talking about. First of all, let's right. start right there. Right. He don't never had a receipt to. He said some shit about Nip in the past about a nigga did this and that in the hotel room and shit. And everybody was like, nigga, bring it out. What, what a proof at? <coughs> so he he just be to me all that shit just cap because he can't. I mean, show a nigga some proof of some of this shit you talking about, right. whack. Why you always screaming on Pyro and shit? Nigga get tired of hearing it. <laughs> Say, nah, for, I be I be listening to him. You know what I'm saying? But I be thinking Wack be getting information from other people online as well, too. He do. You know what I'm saying? Because it be other people I already done been talked about it. Um, 
gonna put it out there and then he just take the story and <coughs> put them together which way this goes. This right here. It tastes like some yam yams, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Got me bring some tears, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bring some tears to the nigga eye, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how you know a nigga getting pulled through. Yeah, so. You know what I'm saying? Nigga roll up, yeah, lit, get lit, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up when he talked about Nipsey because 